There was an interesting meeting today between Chuck Schumer, Trump, Nancy Pelosi, and the establishment-controlled mainstream media that were all around them when this conversation broke loose about what they were going to do in terms of many different things, but one of the key things was to talk about the border wall and the funding for it. At one point, Trump starts laying into Schumer, and Schumer literally just drops his head in front of the whole world. I mean, just like folds completely at that point, even though he stood his ground saying a few things back to Trump. Ultimately, Trump was going to bark the loudest and no one was going to overbark him. And that's just the way that it was going to be there, it seemed, with the way that Trump is. There was no way that no one was going to over, override him or undermine him. Even though they were free to have their own little thoughts, he would fire back. And especially with Pelosi, they had engaged in terms of the House and the Senate, and she wanted to go on and say that you could do this. And he's like, no, I couldn't do that. It, it wouldn't work that way. And she's like, well, you could have done this. And it was just small things like that that kind of escalated into a, a bigger bigger debate there. But in the end, what Trump says is that if Congress doesn't play ball, the military is going to build the border. And, you know, he's basically shouting at, at the Democrats saying, look, I'll shut down the government and I'll have the military do this and we'll find other ways if you guys don't want to come to the table. He brings up a very valid point, though, about 2006, Hillary Clinton, all of the Democrats were all for border security in doing all these things. Now, all of a sudden, they don't want it. How is that? You know what this starts to seem like to me? What I've been saying more and more often, I'm hoping many of you will start to see. This is all shenanigans, okay? We've been saying it for years, but there's a process where people out here that have been stuck in the game, in the cycle, plugged into the mainstream media-controlled apparatus in everyone's homes, every TV, every TV is their conditioning on the masses coming from all the outlets in which they control. So... Everyone is spoon-fed this information, and over time, you start to break out of that mold. You start to develop eyes to see things clear. And you start to see the stage in this political realm as being kind of a puppet show, more or less. And that once you figure out that all these characters come from the same secret groups and societies and they're Jesuits and they've taken oaths together and all this other stuff behind the curtain. All the rest is a show. So you can keep falling for it all you want. I'm here to tell you, once again, we're coming up on another run toward an election. If you don't have a blue collar, one of us, horse in the race, you're smoked. Same old song and dance. You can fall for the same old left-right paradigm, Hegelian dialect, or you can wake up. Simple as that. But this show is going to go on. It's going to continue. The theatrics on a daily basis, especially when you have a president that communicates to the nation via tweets, primarily, and social media. This whole thing has been draped out over there, over social media, in, in the eyes of the masses, to be just like some kind of soap opera. So... The latest here, the threat of a government shutdown and that the military will go ahead and build the wall. Once again, where's the money going to come from? That is the latest. I'll leave a link below. It's been Dabu7, and this is Kaluminati.